Last time on Linus Tech Tips, we took 128 gigabytes of unbuffered DDR4 memory and put it into a gaming motherboard. This time, we're gonna cram as much RAM as possible into a gigabyte bricks with some help from our friends at Intelligent Memory. And on the subject of Intelligent, is it a good idea to run a computer inside a mini fridge? Should I sacrifice the mini fridge in the garage at our office to find out? Smash that like button if you wanna see it happen. The Kingston KC 310 series SSDs we're using in our high speed storage server feature firmware based power loss protection, rock solid performance and large capacities up to 960 gigs. Click right here to learn more. So this video is actually pretty straightforward from a mechanical standpoint. Just like any Intel NUC or Brix Mini PC, this Brix is an ultra compact PC kit. Uh, specifically, it's the BXI3H-5010. It comes with a case, motherboard, external power supply, Wi-Fi module, and a Core i3 CPU. It's got four USB 3.0 ports, HDMI, and mini display port outputs, an audio jack, Ethernet, Ethernet, power in, and it's super small and kind of cute. So as usual, it's what's inside that counts. And there's a fair bit of neat stuff going on in here. Number one, this is on the leading edge of Broadwell-based PCs. The Core i3-5010U inside it is built on Intel's latest 14 nanometer process node, making it pretty much a Core M, like in the new MacBook that we reviewed here. But with higher clock speeds and higher power targets since it'll be plugged into the wall and it'll be actively cooled. But Intel made other improvements too. Performance on the CPU and GPU was increased over Haswell and power consumption was dropped 30%. But not all of the improvements made it into the marketing decks and intelligent memory clued us in that on compatible Broadwell based systems, it would actually be possible to achieve higher than the official 16 gigs of rated memory capacity support. Although this shouldn't come as too much of a surprise since these are the same pranksters that sent us 128 gigs of DDR3 to test the benefits of over 100 gigs of memory in Edsel's workstation nearly a year ago. So here they are, the creatively named Intelligent Memory 16 gig DDR3L memory modules rated at 1333 MHz speeds at 1.35 or 1.5 volts and packed up in a sodium four factor for your ultra compact PC or laptop convenience. Installing them was as simple as any memory. You pop open the bricks, slot in the two sticks the way you normally would, although you'll need a storage drive if you want to actually boot up the system as well, since this is a bare bones PC, and fire it up. Everything showed up sort of normally, with CPU-Z not giving as detailed a report on the modules as normal, but Windows detecting and using everything just fine and even passing a torture test. Sick, eh? 32 gigs of RAM in the palm of your hand. But all is not completely rosy. While our MSI GT72 gaming notebook, which is actually right here, ugh, I got this, also features a Broadwell-based CPU and also managed to detect the modules in the BIOS and even in Windows, it reported only 32 gigs of our 48 gigs of RAM as usable. So if you want to avoid running into a similar situation where you can't actually utilize all your shiny new memory, make sure you consult the official supported list from Intelligent Memory since notebook maker support for this, uh, actually along with Intel's support for this, is unofficial. Speaking of supporting.com, if you call those guys, you actually talk to a person instead of being put through an automated menu. And they've got a different approach to mobile billing as well. It's a pay for what you use model versus the buffet model where you have to kind of like, imagine a buffet where you had to walk in and list, like an itemized list of all the things you were gonna eat. And then if you don't end up eating that stuff, you have to pay for it anyway. Well, that kind of sucks. No, Ting is more like the traditional buffet. You use and pay for only exactly what you eat, except you don't even have to commit to like, you know, if, yeah, I just want a salad, but like the buffet salad looks pretty good. You don't actually have to spend the $16. In fact, the average Ting bill is only $24 per month. If you're stuck in a contract and switch to Ting, they will cover 25% of your cancellation 
registration fee up to $75. And if all that sounds pretty good, then if you head over to our link, linus.ting.com, you can save another $25 in service credit or towards a new device. So if you want to know if Ting's going to work for you because, you know, Hey, well, it's pay as you go, but how much do you have to pay? Head over to linus.ting.com and try out the savings calculator. Enter your last few bills and enter your last little bit of usage and find out if Ting will save you money. Thanks for watching, guys. If this video sucked, I think you know what to do. But if it was awesome, come on, 32 gigs of RAM in here. Get subscribed, hit that like button, or even consider supporting us by using our affiliate code to shop at Amazon, buying a cool t-shirt like this one, or even through a direct monthly contribution through the community forum. Now that you're done doing all that stuff, you're probably wondering what to watch next. So click that little eye in the top right corner to check out, uh, ooh, this is a good one, to check out our video where we take the Fury X and we put it head to head against the GTX 980 Ti in a little tiny PC and see which one performs better. Small computers, they're kind of a fetish of mine. Oh yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already.